So the Forte series has two new products out, and I'm going to give you all the details on them in today's video. We got a clay and a texture powder. These guys have been working overtime this past year. I mean, there's been so many new releases. Today, we've got two new ones to look at, and I'm going to give you all the details. I'm going to try to anyway, give you all the details in five minutes, starting right now. And up first is the new clay. The clay, technically called the Control Clay, is described by the Forte series as a modified version of their standard Forte Texture Clay. This version is updated to include a creamier consistency with the same all-day hold. Specifically, they say it offers a strong hold and a matte finish and sells for $22.50 for 2.5 ounces. Looking over at the powder now, this is the texture powder, and they say this is a transformative product meant to take that flat, lifeless hair and turn it instantly into a dynamic textured look in seconds. This one sells for 1950, 4.17 ounces. Moving over to the scent now, there is no scent on the powder, so we're just talking about the clay, and unless I'm mistaken, it's the same as the others in the line. If it's not, it's pretty close, I think, and I would describe it as fresh, maybe slightly floral, but overall pleasant and really not too strong for me or my allergies are not too much in my face. Looking inside the jar on the clay first, we have a nice and creamy presentation, something completely different than the other Forte clay. It's like the exact opposite, actually. It's super slick, nice and creamy, and in the hand, that's pretty much all you feel. It's just creamy, soft, and slick. Looking at the powder, though, this one is a bit different from a lot of powders we've examined here on the channel. When you put it in the hand, the dryness from the powder instantly absorbs, so it feels dry, but it's also got this very interesting look to it, almost like snow or... Well, never mind. Moving on to the styling test. Now I'm going to be starting with the clay first. I'm going to be using it as directed on fully washed and blow dried hair and adding it in is pretty much the same as what we saw in the hand. It's creamy. It's slick. It's not too sticky, really. It just goes into the hair very silky, very easily, actually. But after a few seconds, that dryness does come out. There's some dryness that actually takes place. And it's there that we get a look at what this clay is about. That texture begins presenting itself. The dryness comes front and center, but it's not a tough dryness dryness. It's not a real tug and pull type of dry. I really want to make that clear. It's not super dry that it tugs and pulls on your hair like we've seen with other matte paste or clays. It's not super dry, but it is dry enough to do the job. And we will talk more about what I see here at the end of the video, but for now, this was the final style. Checking in with this style at the end of the day here, we can pretty much see for the most part it held up pretty easily. It's fallen maybe a little, but it hasn't changed overall that much really. I mean, the texture is still there. It's still feeling dry. It hasn't, you know, really softened up or lost its potency. It almost looks the same to me really. Now though, we do have to hit the reset button real quick and show you the powder. And I'm going to be following the instructions here of applying the powder right onto my hair and working it in. And you're going to want to watch this closely because it's going to happen quick. You might even have to rewind it and watch it again because this powder has just taken my natural hair with no holding ability or way to stand up on its own and is now holding it up and in place. I mean, I almost had to do a double take myself using this. I had to try it a couple times just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. And let me tell you, a fluke it was not. This stuff has the right amount of dryness combined with a helping of stickiness and it takes that hair and actually provides hold and stability. And it does it pretty much the second the powder touches your hair and gets worked in. Here's a look a couple hours after I finish this too, just to show you that it doesn't like instant instantly leave your hair and fall down. I had that thought myself that it might do that, but other than some slight deflation, it seems to mostly be intact. But the cool thing about this powder, or one of them anyway, is if you lose some hold, if you come in and find it's, it's fallen down a little bit, no worries, make it snow again real quick. Just give it a couple shakes and a quick scrunch and you're back to fighting crime. Moving over to the washout now real quick, there's not much to say on this topic. I didn't have a problem rinsing any of these products out of my hair with just water. Both came right out, super easy, nothing much else to say there. Bringing everything together, here now on these two. I'd say I had an overall positive experience with both of these products, but one really captured my attention over the other, and it was that powder. I'm telling you, this one was very well done, in my opinion, especially when you consider the fact that they could have gone the easy route with a lab-made powder and done the same old thing that we've seen a million times, but they went their own way here with this powder, and in my opinion, it paid off big time. I mean, this one works, and it works well, and it works fast. The clay, too, overall worked well for my hair. I actually think this one is 
similar to the Monarch from Blumon, but just with better hold and endurance. I really liked how soft it was and easy to move around my hair, and I thought it was good that it was so different from the other clay in the Forte line here. I think it was the total opposite, actually, from that other clay. In the end, I did note a few things on it, though. The first one was hold strength. I'd call it more of a medium hold. I think that's pretty fair to say that's what I saw. I also think in regards to the styling, it's really great at those textured looks, the loose, fully textured styles, but it had a little trouble actually shaping due to that dryness. In other words, I think this one has very specific styling oh. goals. So on one hand, it might not work for certain things, but on the other hand, it might be a good thing to have really clear cut goals for what this product is bringing to the table. So you might have to take that for what you will. As usual though, the final verdict is up to you. And if you'd like to check this out for yourself, a link will be in the description down below. That's all I got for today. Thanks so much for checking these out with me. Make sure you do the big three for me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, take it easy. I'll see you next time.